everyone and welcome to another Lux play of Heroes Quest or Quest for Glory 1 as I should be calling it. Um, when we left off we had visited the dry goods store and bought a flask and I think we are out of money. We, we have very little left. So this is the last screen of the town barring um, well, <laughs> barring the alleyway over there. You are in the northwest corner of town. There are a butcher's shop and a bakery on the north side of the street. Across from them are the backs of buildings on the next street over. So I think that's saying that down here is the magic shop. This is the the little old lady's house. And then there's the, the guild hall. Um, so what have we got here? The tavern in the corner looks rather run down and the alley beside it is dark. On the other side of the tavern is a rather practical looking building like a workshop. I don't know of a way to get into this workshop. I don't know why they put it here because with a door because uh, I think I and my best friend, um, when we were playing this as kids, spent just 18 million hours trying to figure out how to get into this dang workshop. And uh, I, I don't think it can be entered. Um, so I don't know why it's here. And I don't know, <coughs> this uh, had to be, uh, before they play tested games thoroughly or or maybe because they they didn't do it proper i don't know but i i find it amazing that they didn't have you know lots of play testers going how do i get in this why can't i open the door you can't get in so i don't know what it is or what it was intended to be and i don't know why they didn't just make it a smooth wall if anyone in the video comments knows because you can't google it if you google quest for glory workshop it's you know you, you don't get results for this building so <laughs> If there is an Easter egg involving this building that I've gone my entire life not being able to figure out, please tell me in the comments. <laughs> Otherwise, as far as I know, this cannot be entered. And it messes with your head too, because it says you can hear sounds of hammering from inside. It must be some sort of workshop. So there's somebody inside it. Why can't I interact with them? So that's always bugged me, but I don't know the secret to that, if there is one. Um, the bakery over here seems to be closed, although there are some dried up looking cupcakes in the window. The butcher's shop seems to be closed. The tavern in the corner looks rather run down. There, that window looks broken. And then the alley is dark, but there seems to be someone in here. There's also notes on these doors like there was on the barber uh, shop out front. Uh, the sign says gone fishing. And this says gone fishing. And if you try to open this door, the door appears to be locked. Knock door. No one hears you knocking. No, there's no way to get in there. It's very strange. Alms, alms for the poor. This grubby place must be an alley. You feel a strange cold feeling here. You see some discarded barrels and a beggar holds out a bowl towards you. This barrel reeks of troll's sweat. It's a vessel made of staves, headings, and hoops, most commonly known as a barrel. <laughs> this is a when you click and something isn't right or you didn't click somewhere useful. You may have already won a fabulous all-expense-paid trip for two to scenic Shapir, land of the shifting sands. To claim your prize, simply purchase a soon-to-be-released copy of Quest for Glory 2 Trial by Fire at a software dealer near you. So... <sighs> Oops, can we get back here? Walk. There we go. The walls seem pretty normal, but there are some curious marks at the north end of the building. Some sharp object appears to have been thrown at these walls several times. 
so <laughs> I knew those were there, obviously, because you can't really tell. Um, talk to man. Silver for the poor. Oh, okay, let's give you a silver. Thanks. You know, it's really tough trying to make a living begging in this town since the brigands started scaring all the trade away. This used to be such a nice place to live. My advice to you is not to take up begging. It just doesn't pay, and don't go out at night. A beggar gets cash only when others get cash. Nobody's got much money here right now. Why not at night? I remember when people used to stroll around town at night. Now the only people out later are the thieves. And outside of town, man, you don't dare go out there after dark. The night gaunts will get you for sure. What's a night gaunt? No one's ever lived to tell what a night gaunt is. I sure don't want to find out. Okay, that's not very helpful. Thieves prowl the streets at night. They don't bother me because I have nothing to steal. The brigands are worse. They sure hurt business. No one's getting rich but them. Okay, so that's not anything new. About time I get back to work. Alms for the poor? Alms? A thin man with very patched clothing holds out a bowl containing only your kind contribution. A word of warning to you. Don't drink the dragon's breath. That was weird, but okay. So let's go inside the tavern. The grimy little window lets little light into this tavern. It smells like stale ale and other more unpleasant things. The floor is covered with dirt and the bar with sticky beer. Smoke appears to be rising from the center cask behind the bar. To your right, two gamblers are playing cards. The bartender glares at you as you enter, and so does the ugly goon on the left. You get the impression that you are not welcome. There appears to be a trapdoor beneath the goon, but he's blocking it very effectively. This goon looks really tough and mean. He's not someone to pick a fight with. So this is where the barber goes to lunch. The guy's had so much liquid diet, he looks embalmed. The bartender looks tough, from his crew cut to his boots. The only thing soft about him is his tattoo, which says mama. The man on the east has a baker's hat. The man on the west side of the table is wearing a blood-stained apron like a butcher. The world-famous troll sweat is always fresh. Some of the finest ale in the valley. And then dragon's breath, oh, he said not to drink it, is the house specialty and its crusher's personal favorite. There's some kind of green goop on this stool, and you can't see it very well, but there is a piece of paper. You see a crumpled piece of paper under the stool. So we're going to pick up paper. You smooth out the piece of paper and read B. He's starting to act suspicious. Better save this drop for emergencies. B. Okay, that's not very helpful. Got any 357s? Go fish. They don't seem to be paying any attention to you. Okay. Talk to goon. The goon seems to be ignoring you. Talk to barber. No one responds. Talk to bartender. Um, okay, let's try... What do you want? Okay, uh, let's ask about the tavern. This is a bar. I serve drinks. You want a drink? Order one. You want answers to stupid questions? Get out. Okay, um, order a drink. The bartender bellows, sit down first. Can we sit in that chair? There seems to be something slimy spilled on top of the stool, and it is eating into the wood. You think perhaps you should sit on the next stool over. So what do you want? So, we don't have very much money. Uh, we saved. Let's go ahead and order the dragon's breath to see what happens. Well, actually we should, we should ask about drinks. 
We've got some of the finest ale in the valley, only one silver. Our world famous troll sweat is always fresh, and it's only five silvers. Dragon's Breath is our specialty, and it's Crusher's personal favorite. It's very hard to come by, so it'll cost you 25 silver cash up front. Oh, we don't actually have 25 silver. We've got like, I think 17. We have one gold, and actually, I don't think we have that much. I think we have one gold and like three silvers. So we've got 13. We cannot buy the Dragon's Breath, so that is no good. What we can do is we can order an ale to be friendly. One well aged house brew coming right up. There you go. You thank the bartender and pay him for your beverage. This tastes as sour as it smells, and it burns your throat as you swallow it. Still, it isn't the worst beer you've ever drunk. Um, great, let's order another ale. There you go. You know what? That actually tasted fine. This really isn't such a bad place after all, and the bartender reminds you of an old friend you used to know. Let's have one more. There you go. Suddenly, you don't feel so good. Too much beer. We woke up on the street. You regain consciousness. Hello. Why did I lose my screen? Ah, uh, that's bad. Can y'all see anything? Cause I can't, it's black to me. Um, okay. Ha ha ha. Ah, that's a little worrying. Let me, um, let me pause the video.